Excuse me, have you heard of chess boxing at all? Pardon? Chess boxing, a sport. No, I haven't. What, boxing? Chess boxing, it's a sport. <laughs> no, I haven't, sorry. Okay, no problem. Chess boxing? Chess boxing. No, I haven't. No. 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 Uh, no, sorry. Never heard of it. I just said no. Pardon? Chess boxing, it's a sport. Chess boxing, we've gone. What's the deal? It's a good question. What is the deal with chess boxing? Chess boxers compete in a sport that combines two of the world's oldest pastimes, creating the ultimate mix of physical and cerebral. In front of packed venues, fighters get to experience the glitz and glamour of the ring walk before competing in alternating rounds of chess and boxing. You either win by knockout, checkmate, or running out of time on your chess court. Two seconds, one second, jolly! The clock has run down, Roger, at the last is one. I've come down to Islington Boxing Club. It doesn't look like anything out of the ordinary at first glance, but on Saturday mornings, it becomes the home of London chess boxing. I've come to chat to Gavin Patterson, who's been involved since 2015 and organises the sessions. Mostly people come from a chess background, but it does vary. Um, some people, I came into not having, uh, haven't played chess or boxed, so that's quite common. It's rare people come from a boxing background. I, I don't know why that is, but it just seems to be the case. I fought, I fought three times a long time ago now. The first two went alright, the third one uh, was a technical, no I got knocked out, technical knockout. So I wasn't knocked out, but the, the fight was stopped. Yeah. Um, so that wasn't a very pleasant experience. Uh, but yeah, I, I've, uh, I've fought three times and lost three times. <laughs> Gavin may not have had much success in the ring, but his session today's got a good turnout and he's agreed to let me join in. Look at that technique. We alternate between boxing drills and timed chess games. It's as I'm being beaten at chess for the second time that I realise how difficult this is to be good at. I'm no chess genius, but I've definitely made more mistakes than usual after only a little exercise. Imagine now being repeatedly punched in the head for three minutes and then trying to lock in mentally. I'm left wondering how a sport like this is even created. For that, we need to turn to the pages of a French comic book and a Dutch performance artist. When I came back to Amsterdam, I met my friend Jean Louis Feenstra in a bar, and I told him, "Well, I feel great. I started boxing, and and you know, like gives me a lot of energy." And he says, "Wow, me too." And there were five friends, and they all turned around and said, "Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. Are they going to do a fight?" Because I recalled this comic where there's a depiction of a chess boxing fight. And I said to Jean-Louis, we're gonna do a fight, but we're gonna do it different. And we're gonna measure ourselves on every potential level. We're gonna do a chess boxing fight. And eight months later, we ended up in an old church in front of a thousand people doing the first chess boxing match. He performed the World Chess Boxing Organization from Berlin, and the sport has spread worldwide. There are now clubs in India, Iran, Madagascar, South Africa and the US, to name only a few. Back in London, I think it's time for me to meet some of the current crop of active chess boxers. My name is Matt Crazy Arms Reed. I'm a chess boxer and I've had the most fights in the chess boxing history. David Germany. Um, my ring name is The Northern Powerhouse. My name is Cameron Little. In the chess boxing world, I'm known as the Hurt Locker. I've got roughly 20 wins and about 11 losses. One fight, one win. Six fights, two losses, uh, four wins. You have to have nerves going into a fight. If you haven't got nerves, something's gone horribly wrong. You're almost scared for your life a little bit because somebody is in that ring trying to punch your lights out, trying to actually kill you. A few times you do the win ring walk, you feel a little bit stupid because you know, you're having to act like you've got all this confidence. Come on, look at me, look at me. But after a while, maybe when you've done your third or fourth fight, you just love it. In the first round of the chess is actually when you're least likely to make mistakes because you're, you're obviously you're still fresh. Most blunders in chess and chess boxing happen at the, at the start of a new round because you come back to the chessboard after having done some boxing and you can't remember what your plan was. Your chess play is very much affected by your boxing, but weirdly, actually, your boxing is probably affected by your chess because do you, are you losing the chest? Do you need to come out really punching in the next round? I think they work so well together as a sport, as a hybrid sport, is because to start off with, you think they are so at other ends of the spectrum. Intellectual, chess, physical boxing. But it's not really like that. And there are similarities. So for example, in the chess board, 
you want to occupy the middle of the board. That's almost considered the high ground. In the boxing ring, you want to occupy the centre of the boxing ring. Because it's not just a battle of brawn, it's a battle of brains and brawn. We'd rather lose by boxing. I don't mind having the ego damage when it comes to getting knocked out. It's happened to me three times. Uh, what I can't stand is losing a chess. Most of the chess boxers I've spoken to say they'd rather be knocked out than beaten at chess. We take it for granted that boxers are intensely competitive, but if anything, chess players are on a different level. Case in point, arguably the greatest chess player of all time, Garry Kasparov, gave an interview with Playboy magazine all the way back in 1989. The interviewer asked him whether the impression that chess was for wimps was accurate. Kasparov replied, Are you crazy? Let me tell you a secret. Chess is the most violent of all sports. I wanted to put Kasparov's statement to a modern day chess player. Chess is the most difficult because you've only got yourself to blame and your brain. So if you get outwitted, outfoxed, it hurts. It's a, it hurts the ego a lot. Um, and you've got nobody else to blame, so it's tough. Uh, so in that way, Kasparov is right. My time following chess boxing is coming to an end. And while I feel I've only scratched the surface, the sport doesn't feel all that bizarre anymore. I've got time to check back in once more with the London chess boxers. It's after training and they head down to a local cafe where they order food, drinks and bring down the boards so the play can continue. I have to say that I'm a firm convert to their sport and because of their help, I think I'm finally ready to answer the question.